To lift oneself on eagle's wings above the mist, the fog, the clouds, and gain a clearer view has always been a dream of mankind. But it was hard for the human mind to imagine that man could go beyond Earth's laws of gravity, travel through space, and look back on this blue planet while exploring the vast universe and pondering its purpose. Nevertheless, much greater things have happened on this Earth. The Son of the Living God, the Creator of this universe, came to live here and prepare a way that we may live eternally. Sent by His Father, who is also the Father of our spirits, Jesus Christ paid the price for our sins with His atoning blood. He opened the door for all mankind that by obedience to the commandments of God and the sacred ordinances and covenants restored through the prophet Joseph Smith, we may return one day to our Heavenly Father. As an apostle of the Lord, I testify that this Jesus Christ lives today, that he is the savior of the world. He is the promised Messiah, and there is no other way or means whereby man can be saved. He is the life and the light of the world. He is the word of truth and righteousness, and his gospel is a way of life that, if lived, will bring great joy and happiness to the world. The restored gospel of Jesus Christ has the power and blessings to overcome and take away earthbound, self-centered limitations or boundaries. He who was born in a manger and resurrected from the dead has the power to lift us up to see more clearly our true and divine identity. The psalmist said, Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Through him, we will be able to see things and our fellow men as they really are. Through the restored gospel of Jesus Christ, we are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. The Savior himself has given us the charge to go and share his gospel and its eternal blessings with everyone on this globe, with every tongue and people. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the universal message, irrespective of nationality, culture, political orientation, language, or economic circumstances. As we embrace the gospel of Jesus Christ individually, in our hearts and in our minds, we will rise above the fears of the day. Uncertainty will depart and clarity, peace, and hope will fill our souls homes and nations. I testify that Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace, the Redeemer of us all. He is our personal Savior. He lives and He loves us. He has prepared the way that we may more clearly see the purpose of our planet Earth, the purpose of families, and the purpose of our individual lives now and eternally. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.